Hello everyone, this is King Kong IoT. In this video, we will look at how to use the power meter and connect with our logical controller to see the power consumer value, uh, such as the voltage and the current and the power and the frequency. So we can see this is our logical controller. It has many input channels like analog input and digital input and the temperature sensor input and the IS232 point and the network point and also have IS485 point we will connect with the power meter so it's very powerful we will look at how to use this power meter to see the values on the PC Windows operation system now we will look at how to connect the power meter with our logical controller. This is our power meter. We can see many numbers on the box. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, 11, 12. And this is the L line and the N line. The L input and the L output, and the N input and the N output. All have labeled a number beside the part. Like this one, two, uh, 10, 11, 12. And the other side also have the number. You just wind according to the number you need. Uh, the first, we need two line connect with the one and the two. This is uh, L and the N. Before our test, use a lamp. This is a LED lamp. So the power meter output you can connect with your old device. Uh, in this video, we use this lamp for a demo. So we will test the lamp's current and the power, and the lamp work uh, voltage. If you want to detect any channel of the power, you just uh, use a power meter connect to your uh, power 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 line. For the second, we will use the two cable uh, with the S two S four eight five bus. I just connect with the power meter uh, with the logical controller. If you have many power meter, just all use these two lines, A and B, for the S485 bus together. Uh, the max number of the power meter support in our PC software is 8 channel. So you can uh, use 8, eight power meter together to see all values on the Windows software. Because every power meter we have different address, just uh, have different ID for different power meter. Okay, now we power on. The lamp will be. On. And the next, we will open the PC software of the logical controller. This power meter have a liquid crystal display. Uh, there will be some date, some date uh, every two second display one date. This is the frequency and the power this is the voltage uh, 220 uh, my office is have a lot a little high and the current and this, this is frequency
this is a new power meter, so the value is 0 to 0 0.2. And now we open the software. We just input the IP and the part of the logical controller. Uh, it's very easy. Then we press the connect button. Then we press the emitter function. This is emit. Now we will list eight emit. The electronic emit all the data is list on the windows. You just uh, need to set the ID for the power meter firstly. This ID 171 is on the power meter last three numbers. Uh, just uh, input as uh, this last three numbers. Then you press the read button. Uh, the software will to get the data from the power meter. All these values will be listed. So it's uh, easy to use. And the other power meter also just uh, input the ID. Then you press the read. You can read the date from the power meter. So this is how to uh, use the logical controller read the power meter state. And the next video, we also will supply some other solutions of the IoT project. Thanks for watching.